Hi, I'm Congressman Ted Deutsch, and I'd like to talk to you for a moment about the reckless behavior that led the federal government to shut down earlier this week. First, let me say that no one benefits from a shutdown of the federal government. Our economy only suffers when 800,000 federal employees, including 89,000 workers in Florida, can't go to work and earn their paychecks. As a result, important medical research will stall, small businesses will struggle to secure the loans that they need, veterans will face longer wait times for their claims, poor mothers with newborn children will lose their nutritional support, and tourists will be turned away from over 400 national parks and forests and historic sites across America. Unfortunately, we didn't arrive at this point by accident. This irresponsible shutdown was totally avoidable. In the spring of this year, just six months ago, the House and Senate each passed their own federal budgets. And typically, a conference would be held to work out the differences between the Republicans and the Democrats. But for six months, Speaker Boehner has allowed a reckless group of Republicans to run out the clock and wait for our current budget to expire. Their refusal to negotiate guaranteed that we would need to pass a temporary spending bill to keep the federal government running. But they refused to pass a temporary spending bill to prevent a government shutdown unless Democrats agreed on something totally unrelated to the budget, a delay of the Affordable Care Act. These members of the House Republican Conference refused to accept the reality that the Affordable Care Act became law three years ago. The Supreme Court upheld it, and Americans have already benefited from provisions that protect them from abuses by health insurance companies. It's time my colleagues realized that there is ample opportunity to improve health care reform. But in a democracy, you've got to convince a majority of the people that your ideas are worth embracing. If they have ideas on how to improve the Affordable Care Act, they should work in a bipartisan way to pass legislation. I've co-sponsored legislation to improve the Affordable Care Act, but you don't see me refusing to keep the federal government open, or even worse, threatening to default on the full faith and credit of the United States if I don't get my way. We also shouldn't wait two more weeks to let the world know that America always pays its bills. So I'm here in Washington working with Democrats and moderate Republicans to convince Speaker Boehner to stand up to the extremists who caused this shutdown. I'm ready at a moment's notice to vote for a resolution to keep the government operating at current spending levels. I'm ready to do this even though I don't support the current across-the-board budget cuts under sequestration that are costing our economy hundreds of thousands of jobs. That's because, unlike some of the reckless extremists in Congress right now, I don't believe the federal government should shut down if I don't get my own way. That's what this is about, whether or not we can govern like adults. At a time when our nation is facing so many challenges, the American people expect their leaders in Washington to work for solutions not to create more problems. It's time for Speaker Boehner to stand up to the extremist wing of his own party and to put an end to this embarrassing and harmful shutdown. I hope providing this background is helpful for you. I'm working hard here in Washington and I want you to know exactly where I stand at this moment. Thanks so much.